Scarlet Hopper. I have another surprise. Scribble Hopper continued. He knocked on a little door. Sweetheart, the night is here. He called. The door opened, and a young and fascinating frog, with green skin and flaming red hair, came out. She was wearing a fancy red gown with lots of lace. And a gold crown on her head. She smiled at me and croaked. "Do you recognize me, Knight?" I stared at her, confused. Something about the frog seemed familiar, but I just couldn't place my paw on it. She held up a scarlet feather and winked. I gasped. It was a feather from the Phoenix of Destiny. Then, Scarlet Hopper twirled in a circle and sang, "Red feather upon my word, turn me into a flaming bird." Scarlet Hopper's secret. Scarlet Hopper, Scribble Hopper's daughter. Is a frog, but she can transform into a phoenix. She met Sir Geronimo of Stilton on his first trip to the Kingdom of Fantasy, and he helped her flee from Kako, the Queen of the Witches. Phoenixes are mysterious birds with fiery. Red feathers. They are symbols of immortality, because they never die. Every five hundred years, they are reborn and begin a new life. Phoenix feathers are fiery red. Phoenixes eat incense and perfumed herbs. Phoenixes sing with a melodious voice. Ah, yes, it was all coming back to me on my first journey to the Kingdom of Fantasy. Scribble Hopper had told me a secret. His daughter had been transformed into a red phoenix. Meet Scarlet Hopper, Knight. She's my darling daughter," explained Scribble Hopper. "We managed to break part of the spell that turned her into a phoenix, so now she can also be a frog sometimes. For years, Scarlet has been flying all over." The kingdom of fantasy, and reporting back to me. Thanks to her, I was able to write about all the mysterious places in the kingdom in my legendarium. I wrote the book with one of Scarlet's magical feathers on paper, made from rare flower petals. Scribble Hopper held up the heavy book proudly. This is it, Knight. This is my precious legendarium. I'm telling you, it may just save your life. But please don't lose it. It's my only copy. The making of the legendarium. For years. I dreamed of writing a book, and I finally wrote it. I worked day and night, gathering information and maps of unknown places for those who want to travel in the kingdom of fantasy. My daughter 
described the mysterious places she visited, as she flew to every corner of the land. I used rare flower petals to make the paper for my book. I used a magical red phoenix feather to write every word. Finally, I am a real author.